Massive greetings in the name of the Most High. This is Daddy Reds for Daddy Reds Promotions, and this is Talking News. In this episode, thousands swarm the capital of Sri Lanka, and the president has to flee. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and show that you care. Talking News is here. That's right, listeners. Sri Lanka's president, Gotabaya Rajapaska, he had to flee because the people are fed up. You know what Bunty Killer said? Poor people fed up. That's what's going on, seriously. For months over there in Sri Lanka, the people, they've been just dealing with, look, food and fuel shortages, lengthy blackouts, and the inflation is going out of this world. And the people ran out of money, so they can't deal with any imports. So right now, they have to demonstrate, and the people them pissed off. They try to get them a current, but that wasn't a deterrent. See what I said? A curfew, sorry. That wasn't a deterrent, and it didn't work. So they came out there, and as I'm going to show in this video, they stormed the capital. Unfortunately, nine people were killed, and hundreds were wounded Um, in May. So they decided to try and protest now. And this thing is seriously, the country is nearly exhausted. Oh my gosh, all the scarce supplies of petrol. Wow, they, somebody need to do something over there. That's crazy. In the meantime, the president, he had to be, you know, taken away with the military. They said they don't know where he is, but he is safe. And they're waiting their orders right now. This is crazy, serious situation. So take a look. Okay, that's the situation over there. If anyone know or have family over there, just try to reach out to them to make sure that they're all right and try to send some help to your family over there because you see the situation. All right, people? I am Daddy Reds, and I'm the reggae ambassador, and I will always cause a musical massacre. Dread out for now. This is Talking News.